Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Shay Burke, and we are here in Big Bear with a very special guest and Big Bear fan, Mark Kriske of KTLA, which is Channel 5 in the Southern California area. We're happy to have you, Mark. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be up here. How'd you get here? Um, I flew in with uh, Nick, and um, it was a little bit stormy this morning, but uh, when we flew in, weather cleared out. Absolutely beautiful. How was the ride? From, 45 minutes from Van Nuys. It was great. A little bumpy on the last 30 seconds, but otherwise, no, it was great. So what brings you up here? Business, pleasure? You know what? We're here with KTLA, and uh, we're here with the uh, Big Bear Resorts and uh, Big Bear Association. Um, we love at KTLA, and Los Angeles loves Big Bear. The mountain is fantastic, and it is the closest mountain with skiing and snowboarding to uh, Los Angeles. You can drive up here in about an hour and a half, two hours and enjoy winter sports. How many times have you come up here? Uh, I've been I've been coming up here, Shay, probably for the last, what, I'm thinking 18 years, and uh, and uh, Wally Weber out at Snow Summit taught my kids how to ski and snowboard, and uh, no, I just love coming up here. Do you ski, snowboard? I'm a skier, old school. What mountain do you prefer, Snow Summit, Bear Mountain? I'm, I'm more Snow Summit, and uh, Bear Mountain apparently he has got great snowboarding, and I have a son that's 15 years old, and he's totally a skateboarder and a snowboarder in the mountains, and uh, he loves Bear Mountain, but, I mean, you can't go wrong, but uh, I'm Snow Summit, I'm old school. Is there anything about Big Bear that reminds you of your homeland, Canada? <laughs> yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Man, it's freezing. Yeah, we have snow up here. No, it it, it does. Uh, you know, you walk out here, and I forget. You you breathe that cold air, and all of a sudden your nostrils freeze up, and uh, you you get that breath of uh, cold fresh air. And uh, but then again, the skies are clear, and you go, yeah, I love it. What fascinates you most about Big Bear? Big Bear. I came up here about 18 years ago, um, roughly, I'm thinking, 18 years ago. Uh, I came up here, KTLA sent me up here to do, you know, a story just like we're doing. Didn't know anything about Big Bear. I met people that are just so friendly. I met people who are in the community, and they open arms. And in this community just embraced me, and I embrace the community, and it's, it's just absolutely fantastic. If you could change one thing about Big Bear, what would you change? A um, little more snow in the village during the winter time. The snow hits the peaks, and Big Bear has fantastic snow making at Snow Summit in the mountains. But, you know, sometimes you come up here in the village, is mm -hmm. uh, not enough snow. Do you find restaurants and lodging accommodating to you when you come up here? Oh, uh, the lodging is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And the restaurants are great. I had uh, actually, I don't know if they're still here, but one of the best pizzas, can't remember the name of the place, but one of the best pizzas, total authentic sort of Italian. Mm -hmm. um, we keep on going to steak houses and different things. Uh, just, yeah, it's great. Speaking of food, sometimes on your regular broadcast, you talk about something called poutine. <laughs> yeah, poutine. That's it. You have to be careful how you pronounce that because it can mean something totally different. Trust me. No, Putin is this, uh, but it's uh, it's only in Canada in one region, and it's Quebec, and it's basically French fries with gravy on top, and then you put curd cheese on top of that, and you bake it in the oven, and it's a specialty. Love to see it up here. Um, so then you could say that Big Bear is the, your favorite mountain resort to come to. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I learned, well, I, I learned how to ski in Canada, mm -hmm. but I really got a refresher course. But uh, Snow Summit, Wally Weber, and the mountain taught my three children how to ski. The moment they learned how to ski, they all decided we want to snowboard. Mm -hmm. So they retaught them again how to snowboard, and this is by far, it's, it's close, it's easy to get to, the accommodations are great, the food is great. And the great thing is, we're in California, right? There are a lot of mountains right now across the U.S., which don't have snow because the weather hasn't been great, particularly in the West, mm. in the U.S. Big Bear is in California. They figured it out years ago. We have to make snow. So even if it's dry in Aspen and places, other places, Big Bear makes snow. So the, the conditions are always great. Other hills depend on snow making. Big Bear doesn't. The, the, the conditions are great, even if it's a dry winter. Are you going to do any skiing this weekend? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Please. Enjoy the fresh powder. Oh, the powder. And yeah, and, and this weekend we actually got some fresh mm -hmm. powder. So, oh, yeah. 
I'm I'm grinding. I'm doing whatever. What do they call it? Grinding or I don't know. Swallow. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I'm doing it though. So who is responsible for you being here today? It's it's got to be 100% Big Bear Lake Resort Association. I mean, they just said you gotta be here again during the summer and during the winter, and we had a great storm, so that's why we're here. So I heard you're a snowmobile enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was until they cut me off. I, I, I was coming down the mountain and they gave me a snowmobile and uh, I kind of flipped it and I flipped and uh, ever since then, they, they put one year I came back up here and they had one with training wheels, but ever since then, <laughs> it's been no, no, no. Well, on behalf of the Big Bear residents and me, I'd like to thank you for being here. So do you have any parting comments? You know what? I've skied in Canada. I've skied on the East Coast of the U.S. I've skied in uh, Aspen and that kind of stuff. But the great thing about Big Bear is it's the people, it's the friendliness, it's the community. You keep coming back here. Once, you, once you're here, you're hooked and you love it. Trust me. Well, thanks again. I guess we can say bye. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Always, not bye. Until the next time. Until the next time. <laughs>